Hey, what's up guys? Coach Matt from EliteThrowsCoaching.com coming to you today with week one of our team training program. There's still time to sign up and actually if you even sign up during week two or week three, you're still going to get a ton of benefit out of this. So some people are already signed up. When you sign up, as we told you before, you're going to get a video like this in your inbox explaining all the exercises. You're going to get the program that has the sets and the reps and the couplets and everything else that explains what to do with these exercises. You're going to get the skeleton of what to do out in the circle when you're practicing, and you're also going to get a program which explains what to do with things like med balls, box jumps, sprints, bleacher runs, all that fun stuff as well. Super cheap. Just go to EliteThrowsCoaching.com and click on the, uh, the online team training uh, tab at the top. You can read all about it and get signed up. All right, the workout this week is three days. The first day is going to be a squat. Second day is going to be a press. Third day is going to be a deadlift variation. So we're going to go through this real quick to explain so there are no questions about what the exercise looks like. So on day one, if you're a beginner athlete, you're going to do either a body weight squat or a goblet squat with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Body weight squat, we've done plenty of videos on these before, but just to run through it, if you need a more advanced tu tutorial of what to do, definitely want to just search under this channel for things like the word squat, and it's going to pull up all of our squat videos. Body weight squat, real simple, feet wider than shoulder width, down and up. Sitting back and down and up. Sets and reps are going to be in the program. Goblet squat, either with a dumbbell or a kettlebell, real basic. Grab a weight, same idea, kettlebell up here, sitting down and back, making sure to keep the back nice and flat. Okay. Now, if you are an intermediate or an advanced athlete, we're going to be asking you to work up to a heavy set of five. So use your own judgment. Start with a real light set of 10, increase the weight, give me eight, and then we're going to be working you up to a maximum set of five. Intermediates, your form may or may not be that great. So make sure that you just pretty much work up to a heavy set of five where you can use really good form. Advanced lifters have been squatting for three, four years. Work up to a heavy set of five on your squats and really try to push yourself. From there, your secondary movement is going to be a one-legged kettlebell, I'm sorry, a one-legged pistol box squat. All that really is, we're just going to take something like a, a bench or a box that you have in the gym. We're just going to sit down to the box, stand up, okay? From there, what we're going to do uh, are two more exercises, a wide grip pull-up, pretty easy to figure out, just to pull up with your hands really, really wide. And then we're going to do either a kettlebell or a dumbbell one-arm push press. Very, very easy to explain. We're just going to have the kettlebell up in this position, using the legs, we're going to push, explode, and press overhead. Down, down, explode, press. Down, explode, press. And as we said before, your sets, your reps, how the exercises are coupled together, it's all going to be explained in the email that you receive right along with this. All right, guys, for day two, this is the press day. So your advanced and your intermediate lifters that are out there, you're going to be working up to uh, the same idea as squat, just a regular flat bench press with a straight bar. You're going to be working up to a maximum set of five. Just like before, the intermediates go to a very heavy set of five with good technique. The advanced, you could really push it and try to get to a real, real heavy set of five, all out heavy set. For the beginner athletes, we're going to be doing push-ups. Now these are just regular old push-ups. If you're really, really good at push-ups, you've been doing them for a while, you can make them a little tougher by elevating your feet onto something like a couple of cinder blocks or you know, um, a 6-inch box or a 12-inch box that might be at your gym. From there, we're going to go on to our assistance movements. The assistance movement on the second day is going to be an incline dumbbell press. Very simply, you've got your incline bench, and just like a flat dumbbell press, you're going to have a dumbbell in each hand pressing up to the ceiling. Again, all the sets and reps and everything else that you need to complete the program is in the email that you get for signing up. Now, your secondary moves from that day are going to be some type of a body weight recline row. Here at the gym, we like to use ring rows. We like to use TRX rows. But you can also set up a bar just like this, and you can actually pull yourself up to the bar. Those used to be called Australian pull-ups or Australian push-ups. Pulling yourself up to the bar. 
So TRX rows, ring rows, you're just leaning back, pulling yourself up in that recline row position. And again, you can find those videos underneath this site as well. The last thing that we're going to do is a close grip dumbbell press. So close grip dumbbell press, a little bit tricky to do, especially if you don't have hex dumbbells. But essentially, what we're going to do, take two hex dumbbells together. We're going to squeeze them together and press straight up. Now, if you have round dumbbells or pro style dumbbells, you can squeeze the ends together and accomplish the same thing by pressing up, making sure you're trying to glue those dumbbells together. That takes care of day two. Now we're going to move on to day three. Well, now for day three, that's your deadlift day. So for again, for the intermediate and the advanced lifters, we're going to be heavy, working up to a heavy set of five. You can deadlift really whatever way you normally would deadlift. If you do sumo with the wide stance, or we do conventional with a more standard stance, you can set that up any way you want. Just work up to a heavy set of five. If you're a beginner, you've never deadlifted before, you would want to do what's called a suitcase deadlift. Now you can do a suitcase deadlift with two kettlebells. If you don't have kettlebells at your gym, you can work with dumbbells. Dumbbells, I like to set up maybe on a six inch box so that you don't have to bend down as far. You know, something like dumbbells, you've got to get all the way down to the ground. You might not have the flexibility to do that. So set them up on a six inch box, that way you don't have to reach down too far. But essentially suitcase deadlift, it's like picking up two heavy suitcases at the airport. Sit down, grab, and stand up. From there, your assistance movement that's going to be a jumping uh, squat with a dumbbell in each hand. So, simply put, dumbbell in each hand, what we're going to do is just squat down and jump and repeat. So, down, jump, down, jump. Sets and reps are going to be in the program. To finish off today, you're going to do lat pull downs. If you don't have a lat pull down machine, you're going to do a chin up with your hands facing you. And you're going to do hammer curls to wrap everything up for the week. Not a big curl guy. I don't like the bodybuilding type stuff. But you do want to protect your grip, your hands, your fingers, and your elbows. Hammer curls are a great, great way to do it. Simply put, elbows real tight to the body. We're just going to curl straight up without twisting the wrist. So straight up, alternating right hand, left hand. And that takes care of day three. So what you want to do, if you have not already signed up, EliteThrowsCoaching.com, click the tab that says join the online team. You get signed up and get these emails every single Sunday. Hope to talk to you soon.